I'm Kevin Berger. One of the greatest successes of the Twin Cities diversity story is the Hmong community. Beginning 40 years ago with the arrival of the first Hmong refugees to the area. Since 1990, Hmong American Partnership, or HAP, has been ready to provide social and financial assistance while promoting the rich ethnic heritage of the Hmong community. Christopher Hang is manager of Children and Family Services at Hmong American Partnership and joins us for this edition of Newsmakers. Christopher, welcome. Glad to Thank have you, you here. Tell us about some of the work that uh, HAP does. I know that you're in uh, really in so many areas of, in the community doing work. HAP is very diverse in its services. It has been around since 1990, and the amount of services that we do is, is tremendous for the refugee populations, not just Hmong, but many of the other populations as well. Uh, economic development is a strong area, uh, education, and our social services as well, and health and wellness are some of our areas. Now, when you say that uh, HAP has expanded to work with uh, other populations, uh, have you the expertise you've developed now sh sharing with those uh, other new immigrants and refugees? Sure. New immigrant refugees uh, sometimes share the same struggles that the Hmong people did when they first came to America and, and really worked through some of those issues. Uh, moving from first to second generation and some of the cultural issues and navigating the system around uh, being successful in, in America, understanding how to, to get the career, to land a job, to prepare young people for, uh, for the education and post-secondary that they need. Uh, these are all areas that we focus on. I think that first generation of figuring out the language, the culture, where to find a place to live, uh, those issues are different now for the children and even the grandchildren of those first refugees. What are the needs of the, the, the younger population? Uh, the children these days are uh, focusing on being successful as, as Americans. They're now second and third generation of Hmong in America, uh, where there's children who are born to their parents who were, were born in America themselves. Uh, so there's still a connection to the Hmong community, but we hear a lot of um, parents wishing that their children would learn the language and maintain the cultural uh, identity. Uh, but we're seeing uh, a lot of progress with the community, uh, businesses, um, people getting doctorates and being successful uh, on a na nationwide level as well. So those people are now uh, able to be leaders within the community. That's right. We're seeing uh, uh, even this last election a couple of new uh, city council people who are Hmong uh, and even the uh, just heard yesterday that the president uh, the White House initiative for Asian American um, population is now a Hmong person. What does that mean to the community to see that kind of trajectory? It's exciting to see people from the community discover leadership opportunities. Um, they can speak on behalf of the needs of the community, have really that insight into how the community can, can benefit. Uh, so there's a lot of pride when we see people okay. take uh, really success uh, uh, on a national level or uh, in, in our own uh, neighborhoods. So really in 40 short years, a, a great strides. Uh, what's next? HAP has lots of new initiatives going on. Uh, we see that there's lots of training and development, taking advantage of the uh, opportunities that are out there for, uh, for areas of, of uh, construction, the STEM fields, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, civic engagement and civic life. So in all different types of fields, we're looking at the community really progressing. It's exciting to hear where HAP is going. Thanks for sharing the story with us today. If you would like to learn more about Hmong American Partnership and the many services they provide, or how you could help them out by volunteering, then visit their website. That's Hmong.org. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.